Hi everybody, Janet Robin here, and I'm going to show you one of the most essential Jimmy Page guitar riffs, in my opinion. I also think it's just an essential guitar riff, period. If you play guitar, especially electric guitar, you need to know this riff. It, it not only shows up in Zeppelin songs, but it shows up in tons of other classic rock songs and, and even songs of today. And hopefully it'll show up in one of your own songs and one of your own solos. All right, so we're going to do it section by section, left hand, right hand, some exercises. You're going to do repetitions. Um, and you, you do need to know that the riff is based around the A minor, the, well, in the Zeppelin song, it's the A minor pentatonic. So we are going to do it in the A minor. Uh, it's a minor pentatonic, um, and it's the first position. So hopefully you know your first position, minor pentatonic. You have to know that in order to do this riff. So review it. Um, in this case, he's doing backwards. He's only using those notes from the minor pentatonic. So that's easy. Um, as far as knowing where to go, your, your map is pretty set. Uh, it's a specific pattern as well, and there is a specific way to pick it. And it requires a lot of pull-offs and hammers and plucking a certain way. And we're going to go over that right now. So first string, you're going to pluck. And you're going to pull off into a hammer into the second string. Like that. Slam that finger down. This is so good for your left hand, especially for your pinky. We're going to strengthen that pinky guy. Okay, now you're going to go back to the first string and you're going to pluck up. So I'm doing an alternate picking on the right hand. Down, up. Up. Now for the next part, no plucking. That's a little tough. You got to hammer and pull off. A lot of left hand strength. So down. Let's do three. One. Two. Three. All right. You can also do more repetitions on your own. I like doing repetitions. They always work. They never fail. Do, you know, at least 10 repetitions. Take breaks in between. Now, the second string is a little bit harder because we're going to eliminate one of the plucks. Why am I going to eliminate that plucking? Because it's going to make the riff a lot more fluid and you're also going to get more speed the less you pick over here and the faster you can move over here. All right. So the second string, what happens here, you know, you're doing this. You, you don't pick that. You just hammer, pull off. And then another hammer. So the first three notes, no plucking. Now you get to pluck this note into a hammer. All right, so that's the main pattern. I've eliminated one pluck. So the only one that's staying is the one that's plucking up. That's two, three. Put it together, you'll see how cool it sounds. I'm going to do it slow. This one has two plucks, one down, one up. The next one, only one up. It's, it's slow right now but you're gonna work your speed up and it's gonna sound super, super cool. So here we go.
work on your speed. Now what happens next? Same thing. No plucking into a pluck. So only one pluck again. Same pattern, same pattern. So I right, let's do a couple together. One, two, three. Put it together with the other ones. No pluck, pluck, no pluck, pluck. All right. And obviously the next thing is going to be the same. So again, no plucking on that first one. It's all a hammer into a pull up into another hammer. Pluck up. Two, three. Do more repetitions on your own. Let's let's uh, take it from the bottom all the way up to that fifth string. So. Right? And obviously what happens now? Same thing. Although this time we've got to use our pinky because we're going, we're following the pentatonic scale. So it's a little bit more of a stretch. Make sure your wrist is dropped and jut it out a little bit more so that you can get that stretch. And anytime while you're doing this, you should take breaks, you know, move your wrist around, stretch your fingers out. Okay, so this top one here, or rather the low one. Okay, so no hammer. I mean, no, no plucking. Now pluck. All right. So now we've concluded the entire riff. And now you want to get the speed. What do you do? Repetitions, 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 repetitions. I like to do it in sections to, to work on speed, like two little sections. Like that. OK? You just do that over and over. Like, it, again, at least 10 times, and you're going to nail it. Push it. Push it into it. Remember, a plucking is only two at the top, and then the rest is one. Only one up. Now, if you want to start from... So that one doesn't have any plucking. Right at the top of it, you only have that one pluck. Right? See it? And then you can try to do all of it up to that as fast as you can. If you're, if you're playing a little sloppy, then you need to slow it down. All right? And then I like to do, you know, the next set, like the same way, right? Like that. So just two, two strings, I guess. Well, that's, a, that's actually a total of three. All 
right? Push it. Push it into the next string. Let those fingers fly. Get the muscle memory. As many repetitions as you can handle, again, without hurting yourself. So all the way up there. Right? And last but not, not, not least. That one might take a little time because of, you know, the stretch and your pinky. But again, this is so good for your left hand hammers and pull-offs. You do this, man, you're going to be able to do so many other riffs, and it's, it's just going to sound awesome. Um, all right, so let's do it again all the way through. If you get it that clean and smooth, you are on your way to super stardom. So let's do it again. Now, to push it really hard, you're going to try to see how fast you can go. Last but not least, here we go. Here it is again. One more time. All right. I hope you enjoyed my version of the essential, one of the essential Jimmy Page, uh, Jimmy Page guitar riffs. I had a great time showing it to you and see you next time.